I still believe that I'll wake up a child again and start to laugh and play. I'll go back to childhood sweet like a briar rose, like a bell which wakes us from a dream, like a mother with an ailing child loves him with aching woman's love. Somewhere, far away out there, childhood sweetly sleeps. Along that path among the trees, there or that house, which was once my pride and joy. There, my mother gave me birth into this world so I could weep. The Holocaust was something that was uh, hidden, not uh, talked about for a long, very long time. Not only by um, schools and uh, writers, but also by us Jews ourselves. Up till the time when they uh, had the trial of, uh, what's his name? The Jewish people did not tell their own families what has happened to them. The Eichmann trial I'm talking about. And when that Eichmann trial happened, that's when they sort of started to open up and tell their families, yes, uh, you, I am your mother and I had a family before you and they were killed in the, concentra in the gas chambers. Uh, these children heard that for the first time. Uh, and uh, we tried to repress these memories. I remember the day we stepped off the boat in San Francisco, saying to my mother, we are in America now, and you speak English on the street. I never wanted to be associated with foreigners. At least not at the time. You know, this was America, and I was going to be an American. You know, and I was fortunate that she spoke English. So, um, I kind of repressed. We were just uh, arrested and sent in the camps because we were Jews, you know. So, we didn't do anything wrong, nothing. And then coming here, and they asked you, you know, what are you? So, I think this is not... Not necessary, how do they know who I am or not. It's a reluctance to tell about that to anyone. It's, we don't believe that any human being who hasn't been there can relate to anything like that in everyone's ability to be descriptive, you know, with words, to tell it really how it was. And you say, it's totally inadequate. I'm better off just keeping my mouth shut. That's one aspect, and it's not a proud moment of your life, you know. It was full of degradation. It was full of self-hatred. It was full of many terrible things. And as you know, you always try to avoid recalling degrading and humiliating experiences. Nobody wants to talk about them. You want to sweep them under the... Mm -hmm. So that, I think, those two things that you don't believe anyone can relate to it, plus the being such a humiliating and debilitating experience that you feel, the less said about it, the the quicker I can forget it, the better off I will be in everyone around me. I decided after the war and after the, um, the ghetto finished and I was liberated, I decided to close that part of my life which I passed through and start a new life again. Because going back, you can only get crazy. So, you have to go forward in your life, if you can do it. And I was very strong, because sometimes, sometimes people, they don't believe that it happened, and how bad it was. They think it was, sometimes they can imagine, I tell you some, the truth, sometimes they have movies, right? Yes. About the Holocaust. People go to the movies. If I go to see the movie, that's my life. People go to see the movie, they saw a movie about the Holocaust, the same way when I saw Napoleon, the history. It doesn't infect me. Yes, of course. So we have to teach our children, they should know 
as much as they, they can to find out what our um, people survive and uh, pass through. So even I try, my grandchildren ask me to go to their schools and talk about it. You accomplish several things with remembering. You honor the people who have fallen at the hands of the Nazis by um, their memory, you know, the memory of them, rather, comes to mind and you think about them. They were victims and you know that we must remember that. Do individual for, faces come before you? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I do. And you know that there is a uh, many-fold purpose in remembering. Honor their memory, mainly. Hopefully the world, maybe, will want to look at these events, see what can be learned from them, how to avoid. I mean, really, the conquerors also became victims. I don't know how many millions of Germans perished. Maybe when somebody comes up with the idea of a new Reich, this history will be dusted off. <coughs> Sometimes I think I am uh, pessimistic in everything. I always expect the wars uh, to happen when there is a situation. And maybe that is something that has to do with my past. But my daughter herself is very optimistic in everything. She, she's just a dreamer. <laughs>